his back to school time. High school, CJA, university. Let's talk mental health. Young people um, are a demographic that struggle a lot with their mental health. There's a lot of changes and transitions, uh, and especially like you were saying in that transition from high school to university, you're rebuilding your support systems away from your family for the first time and a lot of your friends. Everyone struggles from time to time. You know, coming into it, I thought I had everything figured out and first year went really well. And then second year sort of hit me like a truck. I was so ashamed to talk about my mental health because I had this fear to not appear like I had everything under control. But then I realized, you know what? There is no shame in talking about mental health. And what we really should all be doing is, is making sure that all young people are, ha are comfortable having these conversations and comfortable recognizing changes in themselves and recognizing changes in their peers. Mental health is on a spectrum, and so you really can be healthy, stressed, struggling, or in crisis, and these things can change every single day. Um, the difference between stress and struggling comes down to changes in uh, behaviors that are long-lasting, intense, and having a really big impact. Maybe someone's not going out and doing something that they love to do all the time. Uh, maybe they're spending more time sleeping, or maybe they start picking up some negative habits. I think the biggest thing is just uh, noticing changes, right? So noticing, saying to someone, hey, like I've noticed you haven't been going to class. A lot of students don't think about preparing for the changes and the transitions that are coming. I would say ahead of time, look up, look up what kind of resources are available for you. So a 12 second Google search can tell you what's around you and there's a lot available to students that are covered in student fees. But maybe going with them um, can be really helpful for them as well. That breaks down stigma, right? They don't feel so ashamed that they needed to reach out for help. It's really uh, powerful to be able to have um, that two-way street that you mm. can go down with someone when you're struggling and then also be there on the other side to offer them support when they're going through a rough time as well. For teachers and parents, I suggest, um, you know, a conversation about mental health can be a difficult thing to start. Mm -hmm. And so I would suggest booking a Jack Talk so that a young leader like me can come and start that conversation with the young people in your life. Our aim is to bring in young people like myself who have recently struggled with their mental health and who have kind of gone through the same systems and to talk about real concrete ways that young people can uh, start these conversations, that they can look out for each other uh, and recognize if their friends are struggling and also look out for themselves. It's never too late to start the conversation about mental health. It's never too late. If you can start it at home as soon as you can, that's amazing. The generations after us, this won't be a conversation anymore. We've made a lot of progress in the last five or six years. Things are changing every day in terms of our world and the way we connect and also the supports that are available. And so it's important to have a young person who's experienced that recently, uh, who knows what those challenges are and uh, who are able to kind of speak directly to that. So you just go to jack.org and you can um, join a chapter at your school and if you don't have one you can start one. Youth should be at the front and center of mental health. I actually did a, a public speaking tour, a Jack Talks tour in April and it was amazing. Seven schools, four days, 2,500 students and you know what that makes a difference. Jack.org, go check it out. It's back to school. Mental health as important as your physical health. Stay with us right now.